In Unit 2, we will familiarize ourselves with reasoning. This unit is divided into three sections. Let's get started with Section 1, Types of Reasoning. Generally, we can distinguish between two major types of reasoning, induction and deduction. By way of inductive reasoning, a particular proposition will be extended to a generalizing proposition. While applying deductive reasoning, a general proposition will be applied to a specific incident in order to derive a particular proposition. Induction means that the way of reasoning takes place bottom-up. The limited initial information will be extended, that means generalized. Deduction means that the way of reasoning takes place top-down. The generalized initial information will be kept at the same level. Section 2. Inductive reasoning. Inductive reasoning can be used in order to generate forecasts or explanations. In a forecast, an observation of n events leads to conclusion about one or more future events. The starting point is the observation, which will be used in order to come up with a more generalized projection of future events. For an explanation, an observation of n events leads to a conclusion about a general rule, law or principle. Again, the starting point is the observation, which will be used in order to come up with a more generalized conclusion. Section 3. Deductive Reasoning Deductive reasoning can be used in order to generate forecasts or explanations. In a forecast, the application of a general rule leads to a statement about one or more future events. The starting point is the general rule, which will be used in order to come up with a projection of future events. For an explanation, a general rule will be applied in order to derive an explanation. Again, the starting point is the general rule, which will be used in order to come up with a conclusion. Section 